Should I change any of this stuff to make it so that it won't be as motion sicky? Turn off the motion blur. Bam. Okay. Back. Uh, gameplay. Subtitles, for sure. Back. Uh... Is this better mouse and keyboard or controller? Would you say? Desync the subtitles? Why? Jesse recommended the controller. Okay. Okay. I trust that boy. Don't sync them to the audio? Why? Sync is great. Sync is great. Okay, then. Then whatever. Yolo. Uh, adjust gamma until the center image is barely visible. Uh, a reminder before we get started that we have a spoiler discord. So our discord is open to everybody. We have a spoiler channel in there if you would like to talk about the game, spoilers about the game, um, theorize about what you think is going to happen. Feel free to do that in the discord because you'll get timed out here for it. And let me know how the audio for the game is. myself for now just so we can keep moving on Voice print errors. I want to see what happens Come if I'm on, like, nope. Again. Voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140-412. Okay, okay, good. Come on, give me something. 
Sam, are you there? Respond. This is fucking cool, man. Hold LT to enter response mode. I am here. Module 9. Pressure. Hull and pressure. Module 9, hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good, we're still connected. How is the pressure in 9? Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the whole contact points on the other modules? Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false. Suggesting that module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to nine. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! The controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Sam, you still there? What is happening in this game? What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Sam, what is that? Sam, a response! What the hell is going on? What the fuck? Bring her to FCK. Is she dead? What the fuck have I done? Relocation functions are offline. I require auto routing to access module cameras. Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. I like our voice as Sam.
please repeat your previous request? I need you to run diagnostics on yourself to see what you still have access to. Welcome, you fine, cat-loving, coffee-drinking burrito babe. Is there something I'm supposed to do in here? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yikes! Sam is compromised! <laughs> We're not doing great, fam. The main memory core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in Central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from Module 9. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in Module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Oh, interesting. That's super cool. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Oh. Zoom. Reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. we got what else we got in here notification bay swap cameras unit. Oh, laptop. Okay, now add the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. Uh... 
Uh, okay. Cycle entries. Oh, hatch control. Okay, looks like that is working. Now, use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. EAS-11, open hatch. That's it, it's open, I'm out. Good work, Sam. Thank you. Anything okay. for you, Emma? Question mark. Let's get this up and running. Josh, I don't know if you can hear me, but oh, I hate these things. Josh, if you're in EAS module twelve, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Oh, shit. Okay, station alerts, station alerts. I'm sure there are lots of station alerts right now. Sam, you should have access to your OS now. Find the fire. Oops. God, I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, right. I have to... There is a fire out of control in... EAS4. Shit, I'm on my way. <laughs> I feel like there must be something I, as the robot that controls this thing should be able to do <laughs> and yet to find a schematic in this room, I guess. Oh, it's probably that? No, it's not. Mm. 
Well, I don't know why it would be in here. a thing? No. Wow, this is stressing me out. Okay, hold on then. Six. Oh. She's trying to get into a different area. She's trying to get in here. Ooh, okay. Okay, so there's that, and then what just happened there? Arm training unavailable. System linked. This hatch. Is that what she needs? There we go. Okay. Okay. Relocate to EAS three. I'll need your help when I get there. Okay. Like you already have the hatch system links. Good. Get ready. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? One. Hold R2. Two. Three. What the hell, Sam? On three. Uh. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I, got, I got real confused. I'm sorry, Emma. I'm sorry. Sam, <coughs> get the vents on in here. Clear these fumes. Vent fumes. I haven't seen anyone do that properly. Oh, thank That's God. It's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. Started it. What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Something is coming out the side. It's like a thick grease or oil. Dark red. And there is maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on. What now? Sam, give me a state of support. There is significant stress being applied to EAS 12. Immediate separation recommended. Please, if there is any. 
anyone in Module 12. Make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. This is getting much worse. <sighs> okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. First, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. 1442413324. Sam, come on! I'm sorry! <laughs> Oh my god. Sam, target the jets in the correct sequence. Oh my god. I love that they build in human error by being like, yeah, he's all fucked up. His like his whole system's messed up. <laughs> EAS-12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been cut out of it. What would do that? Primary solar panel array on the EAS arm has been torn off. That explains the lack of power. Oh. Oh, I can change feeds. Ah. We must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections. Yo, this is why space is fucking scary, though.
The RU arm upper modules are badly damaged. The damage seems to be localized to the upper part of the arms. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. Girl, I don't know. But we're at Saturn. I brought you here. It seems. What? Why? Message received. Coordinates set. I don't know. Yikes, Sam! Even we, the AI, are like, what is going on here? Oh, title sequence. Yo, that was a really cool beginning to this game. I'm in. I'm ready. Let's do this. How cool. I restarted your core systems. Let's try this again. Sam, voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Okay. Okay. So, Sam, here's the deal. I'm stuck in the EAS arm for now. I think it's related to power, but a lot of the hatches are fully locked down, so I'm going to try something different here. Okay, Sam. I have rigged a connection sphere for you to use. You should be able to take control of this and fly around the station. 
It'll let you reach parts of the station your cameras can't see, and it'll let you wirelessly connect to non-station devices, like laptops. There. Looking good, Sam. Okay. Let's see if you can move it. Fly over to me. Great. Now turn around 180 degrees to face me and fly back. Something isn't right. Hang on. Try again. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. controls for translation and rotation, but I'll let you figure them out. You should still be able to identify objects and relay information to me like any other camera. Try it now. Connection sphere is offline. Okay, great. That works. Now. You can release yourself from the sphere and return to your main OS just like before. Try it now. Ah, I see. Sphere tracking is online, so its location will be displayed on your station map. To reconnect to your sphere, you can either quick connect directly from your map, or you can use a nearby module camera to access it. Reconnect to your sphere now. Great. Can't believe that all actually worked. Right, so, the rest of the station is dark, and the horizon arm is running on emergency power. The solar panels give us next to nothing this far from the sun. However, we do have an experimental fusion reactor on board, the EFR. If that can generate enough power, we can maybe get the universal hatches open. See what you can do. I'll try to find a way to contact the rest of the crew. Uh, okay. I... Uh... I'm going to go pee. <laughs> I'm going to go pee and you can't stop me. Um, this game is super cool so far. I'm so excited that we're playing it. I'm like, I'm really into it. Whoever was like, this is absolutely a you game. You're right. I'm in. I'm invested. Let's take a quick break. Um, go pee, grab a drink, whatever you got to do, and then we'll come back and we'll play more. Okay? Hubba bam, hubba bubba bubble tape.